I know, I can just read the comments now saying, you haven't seen this movie before? I thought you fucking watched horror movies. I get it, okay? Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So before you all give me shit, let me, I, I, I don't know how I missed this movie. Um, I was, I'm working on my, on my top Christmas horror movies um, for, well, not just this year, but in general. And um, I was just going through, I don't know, a list of movies that I've seen. And then I came across a few that I haven't seen. And this was one of them. Um, and man, oh man, the write-up it's getting and has gotten uh, is, is incredible. Uh, the movie is called Better Watch Out, and God, honestly, I had never even heard of this movie until yesterday. Um, but as soon as I, I saw it on the list, and I was like, fuck, this thing's getting great reviews. How could I have missed it? And uh, yeah, so I, I, I grabbed it last night on online, and I watched it, and man, oh man, like this movie is fucking fantastic. So um, for those of you that have seen it, I'm going to do a spoiler-free review, and I'm going to keep it relatively short, because I'm going to guess that most of you have seen this, but... For those of you that have seen it, uh, know what I'm talking about as far as twists and turns in this movie. And for those of you that haven't seen it, please like watch this fucking movie because it is fantastic. And again, for those of you who have seen it, please don't spoil it in the comment section for the ones that haven't seen it because uh, I, I was blown away. I was sitting there watching this thing, going, "Okay, well here we go. It's you know it's supposed to be a cross between the strangers and and Home Alone. You know what I mean? But man, oh man, I never." never expected or never saw what was coming that was that was crazy so um just quickly it's directed by chris uh, peckover who as far as i know has only done one other movie and it's called Und undocumented which i haven't seen but man oh man what a fucking cast this movie has first off we've got um the main star is levi miller who's a great great actor there's a few spots in this this movie where his voice kind of got annoying but i think they kind of did it on purpose so um, and then there's Olivia de Jong, who's a fucking fantastic actress, and Ed Oxenbold. And if you don't know who Olivia de Jong and Ed Oxenbold are, they are the two kids from the M. Night Shyamalan movie, uh, The Visit, which is fucking fantastic. So I recognized all of them right away. Uh, and then you've got Alex Mika, who I'm not familiar with. But uh, Darcy Montgomery is in this, and he's he's kind of the... He was in Stranger Things too. He was kind of like the... Uh, the, the stepbrother, the asshole, the new guy. So played great character, and he's great in this movie too. Um, and then also uh, Patrick uh, Warburton. Um, he is fucking awesome. You may not know his name, but if you saw his face, you'd know exactly who he, who he is. Um, he was in the uh, cafe scene with Will Smith in Men in Black, um, where he gets zapped there, and he does the uh, voice of Joe, as well as probably hundreds of other voices too. Um, the, the guy is like his voice is just I mean as soon as you hear him talk you know exactly who it is so I mean it's got a pretty good fucking cast in here so but I'll tell you without giving away any spoilers uh, this movie is fucking fantastic I, I really don't want to say too much about it I just I'm, I am definitely going to include it on my on my top Christmas horror movies for sure uh, I just can't believe I haven't seen this so but um, yeah it just you know it starts off as you just think it's going to be your normal home invasion movie and goddamn <laughs> they turn the tables on you at about uh, the 30 minute mark and uh, i mean the rest is just fucking crazy and i like this too because they push the boundaries um you know f this is kind of a teeny bopper movie not really but kind of but they they push the boundaries in some scenes and you'll know what i'm talking about but they don't they don't trash it out you know what i mean which is which i thought was good so i mean i mean my teenage daughter could watch this and and i wouldn't have any qualms about her watching it you know what i mean just the way they filmed it and it's a horror movie you know it's a slasher flick and a, and a, and a uh, you know home invasion movie but i mean it just it's got scenes in it that are shocking but it's not trashy shocking like you know what i mean and there's a little bit of gore in it, um, you know, there is blood, but um, a, a few of the really good gory scenes are kind of off screen and then you see the after effect and stuff, but uh, anyways, I don't, I don't want to give too much away, so for those of you that have seen it, you know how awesome this movie is, and for the ones of you who have missed it like I have, do yourself a favor and, and watch it, and, and I guarantee you, you will absolutely love this fucking flick. Um, yeah, and 
let me know what you think. If you have seen this one, um, definitely let me know what you think of this one. So, but I just I am going to include this in my uh, my top Christmas horror movies, and uh, we got lots more horror movie reviews, uh, Christmas horror movie reviews coming. We're going to do some some old ones, uh, you know, some brand new ones. And I hope to see End of the End the Apocalypse before Christmas, so I can do a review on that one too. I think I I think I have a copy of it coming to me, so but I'll find out uh, later today. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some old ones too, some surprises and stuff. And then I mean, there's only so many Christmas horror movies <laughs> that you can do because there's not really a, I mean, in the in the grand scheme of things of horror movies, there's not really a whole lot of them. There's, you know, there might be like 25, maybe 30 tops, so not not a ton. So. But uh, anyways, check this movie out. It's called Better Watch Out. It came out in 2016, 2017. I actually think it got a run on Netflix uh, last year. And obviously I, I missed it because I'm a fucking dumbass. So anyways, check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you have seen this one, I'm curious to see if you uh, like this movie as much as I do, guys. So anyways, stay tuned. we got lots more stuff coming up. And as always, stay scared. <laughs>